Hi, y'all, Flipper. What's up? How are you doing today, bud? Just picking up the game and loading it up. God, I hope I downloaded it. I'm pretty sure I did. God, I hope I have it downloaded. I had a whole plan here. Yeah, it's downloaded. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. I, 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 I fucked myself up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I had to, uh, I had to, um, uh, I'm writing like a, like a little short story about what my D&D uh, &D character did on her, basically her off time away from the group. And I, I have, I, I have this idea, all right, I have this idea for a moment. And I'm writing it down, and it's got me fucked up. <laughs> like, it's a good moment, and, I, and I'm, I'm over here thinking, this moment isn't that good. I don't even think it's well written. And it's got me fucked up. I don't know why. All right, we're gonna go into a game. <laughs> I can't play Nightmare, so we'll just play normal. Stephen King once wrote that nightmares exist outside of logic. <laughs> I'm talking about writing, writing and we're playing about a writer. <laughs> they're antithetical to the poetry of fear. In a horror story, we're playing the game who's a writer as well. <laughs> but there can be no explanation. And there should be one. I just realized. Is what stays with us the longest, and it's what we'll remember in the end. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. This is how I'm gonna turn out. I'm Lady Ivana, and I'm a writer. Now I need to make a special like intro card. I've always had a vivid <laughs> imagination, but this dream unsettled me. It was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards. <laughs> So yes, it began with a dream. Following a typical nightmare pattern, I was late. Desperate I'm a writer. To reach my destination, <laughs> a lighthouse. For some <laughs> urgent reason, I couldn't remember. I'd been driving too fast down a coastal road to get there. She he did. <laughs> I'd seen a check or two. <laughs> no, I had to check if it was two he points was or three points. <laughs> I was convinced they put me in jail and I would never see Alice again. Dude, you fucked up my car. Hope you have insurance. <laughs> uh, but no, I was I, I was typing out the scene right before stream and I'm like, fuck, I'm fucked up. I'm fucked up before stream. I'm Suddenly, over here tearing up. Gone. I had like sad music playing in fucking Spotify. Shock from the crash. Ah! I could hardly stand my feet. <laughs> and now I'm playing Alan Wake. <laughs> e beach. What the hell? Looking up and no. That's fine. I could. Can... Oh my god! It is sensey. This is sensitive. <laughs> <Woo -hoo! laughs> This is like a circle. This is like a tiny circle. <laughs> uh, let me see if I can plug in my controller. This might be a controller game. Uh, controller! Controller! There it is! I'm trying to get this guy's insurance. He hit my car. Yeah, that's my computer. I plugged in something. Deal with it. Alright. That's better. That's actually a lot better. <laughs> right, let's go. We're on an adventure. Take part, reach. I will. <laughs> Brother, you better have insurance. You better get back here. I had to go to the lighthouse. I knew there was something important waiting for me there. Yeah, the guy's the guy's wallet. <laughs> I I need his wallet. Oh, right. The first thermostat. I have to collect all the thermostats. Bridge had collapsed. I'd have to find another way to the lighthouse. <laughs> what have 100. Uh, fun, fun little fact. I actually, this is my first game by 100%. Back in the day, this is the first game I ever 100%. Alright, 
<laughs> you bastard, you're gonna steal my car. No, you don't. Oh, he's gonna, he has an axe. Never mind, he has an axe and he teleports. Did I, wait, did I just fall? Yeah, I just fell. Um, the guy's monologuing and I'm out. How do I run? Jump. There we go. How do I run? I can dodge enemy attacks. Well, that's weird. I don't like that. You can't stop me. Oh yeah, we gotta get that cinematic moment. Was a character from the story I've been working on. <laughs> he's he's the murderer of my story. <laughs> How does it feel to die by the hands of your own? Um, your villain has a shitty guard. Oh, never mind. He just got serious. Run. <laughs> he just got serious. Time to run. He turned into a NATO. He's a ghost NATO. He's still over there. We're fine. We're actually probably fine. Oh, yeah, we're fine. I'm playing this to get ready for the new game, honestly. I don't know. He's just... He's a writer, okay? He's not the most agile of people. Actually, I probably could have walked and still made it. Okay, see ya. <laughs> yeah, fuck Stuart. <laughs> oh no. Stop. No. Damn it, die. No, no. No. He should have dodged. Why didn't he press the dodge button? Stuart, you suck. Oh god, he heard me. <laughs> Oh God, he heard me. <laughs> I was trapped. There was no way out. But I'm a writer. I can just write my book. This guy's a mood. This is me at work. Why didn't he self revive? Um, how do I get out? Huh? Huh? I'm dying. I'm. I am physically dying. Oh, there it goes. Follow the light. That's very vague, but okay. <laughs> you are hurt. You should go into the light. You are only safe there. Get to a safe haven. Okay. I wonder in the second game the light thing is still gonna be a thing. I have something important to tell you. It goes like this. For he did not know that beyond the lake he called home lies a deeper, darker ocean green, where waves are both wilder and more serene. To its ports I've been. To its ports. <laughs> is that you, Jeebus? Move faster. <laughs> no. Follow my light. <laughs> Move faster just comes from <laughs> the grave to talk to me. You are the spirit ancestor of my son. The darkness is dangerous. God. I have played this game so many times. God, is that you, please? Darkness protects him from all harm. Only light can drive the darkness away and make him vulnerable again. Here, take the light. Well, I'm writing this book like a game intro. I don't know why. Turn your flashlight toward him and burn the darkness away. Be gone, demon! <laughs> Insert battery. <laughs> 
You did it. Now the darkness no longer protects him, but it's still inside, controlling him. He can't be saved. He's still a threat. He is still your enemy. Here, take the gun. This is America God. Thank you, America God. <laughs> Good. You can well. remember what I taught you. That is all. I will give you back your dream now. <laughs> That's all. I'll give you back your dream. Bye. <laughs> the terrible darkness was taking over the world. God interrupts my dream to give me a tutorial lesson. Don't you hate it when that happens? You're having a nice little dream. God interrupts it to give you a tutorial how to do taxes. Get fucked. Did I just, did I just one tap you? No, you're not dead. There you go. Get fucked. Oh, there's another one. Hi, other person. Um, I don't have any batteries. Oh, yeah, I guess that would be a nightmare. Hey, I'm safe. You can't get me in here. I'm like a kid looking for a nightlight. Oh, yeah, I got a flare now. I forgot about flares. They're like really broken in this game. Oh yeah, well, guess what? Flare. <laughs> See what I mean? Flares are broken. You save a flare for like a really bad mode, but even on the hardest mode, it's easy. I survive out of pure, I don't give a fuck energy exactly. I don't care. I have a flashlight. Look, there's even my poster up there. They're advertising the game in the game. That's kind of sad. Ow. You dick. The barrels are hitting me. That's just rude at this point. My stamina is terrible. Oh, we're fine. He's taking a sweet time. Oh, a thermos. I need that thermos. That's important for collections. Oh no. Need thermos. <laughs> oh, he is actually kind of catching up. So terrifying. I just had to walk away from him. Tutorial God, is that you? Oh, it's just the lighthouse. We're fine. Just another nightmare. Oh! <laughs> My wife scared me. Her face is terrifying enough as it is. <laughs> more than dozed off for everyone. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. Can you imagine if you wake up and your girlfriend's scarier than your nightmare? Okay, was she your girlfriend or wife in this? I think she was your wife. Ah, Silent Hill. You gotta love it. <laughs> Let's act like we're on vacation. Go stand next to that old gentleman there. I want a shot of you with the town in the background. I'm gonna push the gentleman off. I'll even give you a title for the shot. 
A city boy, moments before he got eaten by a bear. Hi. Hello there. You picked a good time to visit our town. Deer Fest is just two weeks away. Deer Fest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? You have a lovely wife. If you don't mind me saying. I'm Pat May, by the way. Nice to meet you. Hi, Pat yeah, May. I'm Alan Wake. I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance that you get an interview? Where's my gun at? Mr. May, I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me to be discreet. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you two have a lovely holiday. He's gonna die. <laughs> just, just the acceptance of, yeah, he's gonna die. Very nice. I got a couple of really good ones. And For your Instagram? Friend, yeah. I should probably make an Instagram. Right. Yeah. Hey, bestseller. How's my favorite writer? Are you there yet? Very. Yeah. We just got here. Are the locals giving you trouble? Just say the word and I'll hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone, Al. No, Barry, we're fine. Great. Great. Just want to make sure you can relax and recharge. The guy on the phone is the best character in the game. Has it gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry, we're just seven. I love in. Barry. Okay, Al. I love you too, Barry. Sorry, I had to talk to my boyfriend. Calling you every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? Text message from Barry. He says hi to you too. Alan, we're here. Come on, let's get back to the car. Hey, okay. is it? Is, yeah, this one's our car. Man, Alan's doing pretty good. He got himself a wife and a boyfriend. Cabin key from the landlord, a Mr. Carl Stuckey. He's waiting for us. I'll go fill her up while you get the key. I'll pick you up here in say 15 minutes. Sure. She looks like she's chewing on gum. Thank you for coming here with me. I love you too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. I'm only gonna rob the store. Maybe eat someone. The horror game. We got to start somewhere. I've forgotten there were still places like this. Towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the Odier Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for. Mr. Wake, Alan. <laughs> oh God, I am your biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Oh my Rose. God, Rose. His I'm face. Mr. Stucky. Carl Stucky. Carl? Of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. I can't believe it. I've got all of your books. I got the cut up from the bookstore when they took it out of the window. <laughs> and you keep it here. Well, okay. Good for you. Creepy. I can examine it. Uh, right. Try the coffee. So much for a quiet Just vacation. don't blame me when you fall in love, because it'll break your heart when you have to leave. Rusty here is no longer human. Nothing but black coffee under a thin layer of skin. Yeah, that makes two of us. Do me a favor, Sonny. I could really use a tune right now. Coconut, number six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself. I'm, oh, that reminds me. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> There's so much copyright. <laughs> There's so much copyright music in this game. I love the dude, but there's so much copyright music in this game. Unbelievable. Uh, like, I, like either way, this stream is gonna get muted. No, yeah. Best characters. Don't go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I think I can handle it, ma'am. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find Stucky to get the key and get out as soon as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. Overeager fans always did.
Hello? Mr. Stuckey? Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I'm sorry, if so, if an old lady does that, hand me an envelope and a key? No. And to meet your wife. I would back the fuck up. I insist. Thanks. This is this is why I would keep the god revolving the god given revolver on me at all times. Women people like this. Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. If if someone hands you an envelope and does it like that, that thing is cursed. You're gonna be puking up beetles or something by the end of the day. You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. This really ought to be fixed, and then I must remind Sarah to change the lights at the station. It's been too long already. Actually, no, she's actually kind of right. Sounds better than your singing. Are you all right? <laughs> splendid, splendid. <laughs> Damn hernia. It swells up like a balloon if I lift anything heavier than a spoon. Yeah, splendid, splendid. It's been a long time, Tom. Good to see you. Hey, you wouldn't happen to have a bottle on you, would you, Tom? I wish. I wish. I need I need something stiff. The Andersons. They're uh local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. So they sent a park ranger to take care of it. Alright. Bye, Mr. Wake. See you, creepy. So we're bewitched. The key and the directions. My hero. <laughs> I got some flashlights, just in case. For the game mechanics. Don't worry about it. Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! Your... Your keys! That diner was a real nuthouse. <laughs> Can you believe this place? This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home, okay? Okay, we can talk about this later. Batman here on PBF FM. I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Here's another one of my favorites to go with. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer, but that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years, not since my last book. It's so hard to write a letter. <laughs> it's so hard to write a letter to my mom. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to type up an email, couldn't do it. Can't write a word. <laughs> too much too much imaginary power needed to write a letter. Oh, and that's a copyright. Oh, I must already I just have to accept it that this game is gonna send me to copyright claim heaven. Because every chapter has some kind of song. Wow. It's gorgeous, Alan. It's something alright. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. So what you're saying is the light the light stays on during uh, the good times. Yeah. That's how you are. There's a lot of just birds <laughs> what wait <laughs> did I just blow your mind <laughs> for people with phobias they had with this kind of phobia they just need to have the light on at all times 24 7 the electric bill is skyrocketed This place 
With how many birds are just hanging around this island, it probably smells awful. Here we go. Let's take a look inside. Oh, there's cut. I, I forgot about this. Okay, yeah, that's a thing. I for I forgot it's about that. In there. We need light. Can you figure out how to get the power on, honey? Sure thing. I'm on it. Sure thing, babe. I got this. Let me just brighten up your day. <laughs> a shoebox filled with books by Thomas Zane sat on a shelf. I had never heard of him before. Hello, anyone here? Good night. Oh, okay, crispy. Power cable goes to that shed over there. No, I'm gonna explore while while it's dark. Thermos. What's up? For a moment, the oppressive feel of the nightmare I had seen on the ferry returned. <laughs> there had to be a fuse box ah scary somewhere on the island the cabin looked like a time capsule from the 60s or even earlier i'm probably gonna piss off my neighbors laughing like that okay you can't turn on the radios as much as you want to there is an achievement attached to the radios you can't turn on the radios because it plays music that's copyrighted <laughs> if you can name the laugh I'm trying to mimic, 20 points. Oh yeah, I forgot about this mechanic. Oh yeah, generators. been the site for a love story uh okay the game just kind of skipped dialogue a place i told myself i could rest here sleep here and forget about my work i thought we could be happy here maybe it would be that again i thought we could better ha be happy here but then fucking God infested my house, and then I had to leave. She's gonna die. <laughs> I actually don't even remember if she lives or dies. I think that's kind of like left to a mystery. I don't remember. Alice, honey, my my, my dear, my wife. Alan, I'm upstairs. I have a surprise for you. <gasps> oh, cheeky time, Bouncika Hong Kong. We're about to get it on. Well, oh, hi. I'm not the surprise. It's in the study. Go take a look. <laughs> okay. Surprise. Alice, what is this? I guess I have a small confession to make. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past. Damn it, Alice, you, everyone. Hey, keeps... hey, hey, just hear me out. There's a local doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. Maybe so now you want to get me committed? No, it's not like that. That's not... Alan? Alan? I don't, just don't. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. God damn it. I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. Oh, I tripped. Oh, I'm a writer. I'm gonna have to be over dramatic for this scene. Oh. Damn it. Alice. 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 The cabin had gone dark. 
all the lights were out. <laughs> what the hell? Help me! Alice! No! No! Alice? Alice? Oh no! Oh, yeah, I guess maybe they did kill her right away. I forget. position before i've been drinking again god dang it waking up in the crashed car felt like i had woken from <laughs> one nightmare and entered another actually it's like a tuesday oh i couldn't remember how i got <laughs> all i knew was that something terrible had happened to alice the phone was dead i'd have to find help on foot i was always terrible at charging it on time but died Ugh, I'm such a disappointment. Ugh. Main character syndrome. Examine this book. Among Alice's things was a book, The Creator's Dilemma, by a Dr. Emil Hartman. Seeing the book brought back my fight with Alice. Which happened like, like five seconds ago. I guy's smug face on the cover either. I could jump off here in the story, but no, I have to go save my wife. She's okay. She has to be okay. The gas station was my best bet. They'd have a phone I could use. It looked like a long hike through the forest to get there. Or, you know, you could just... Oh, actually, yeah, that's... That's definitely a hike and a half, isn't it? I mean, if I was left in that, like, situation, yeah, I guess I would choose the hike. Damn. I always hated that car. I'm gonna get insurance off it. Easy. So, how did your car crash? Um, horror stuff happened. It was an old lady's fault. It was ghosts. Here, woo. I'm Alan Wake. I'm a writer. Woo. Hello? God? Oh, God returns already. God dang. Why does God keep returning? Someone there? The loose sheets of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. Departure by Alan Wake. The man turned to face me. His face was covered in shadows. It was hard to make him out in the darkness of the forest that surrounded Oh, a funny us. thing is, you can find all the pages to this book. With the blood of his victim. And it tells the story as you play the game. It's really cool. So if you actually go around and try to find all the little nooks and crannies of the game and find these pages it tells you the entire game before it ha happens and it's actually kind of a cool mechanic i think part of me growing up always wanted to be a writer Maybe that's why I'm okay at writing. I think I could write an easy tween novel. Please, I've been in an accident. An easy teen uh, novel or something. A spooky teen novel. <gasps> Be a thing, wouldn't it? Ha! <laughs> 
lights up ahead were a good sign. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone. Oh god, if I do become a writer, I would become the main character. <gasps> Amazing thoughts. So many thoughts are being thoughted right now. Is there any secrets behind here? There's no secrets. Lame. I demand secrets. Okay. <laughs> I would have busted. I would have busted my Please. knee right there. I've been in an accident. Yeah. Okay. So the, in this scenario, I don't know what I would do. I I would. Hmm. Hey. Hey, you. Fail. There's been an accident. I need help. Listen. Deposit. I need to. Premium cabins for rent in. Oh hell. Carl Stucky. Pleased to meet you. Oh no, it's Stucky. Dude, I still need the keys. Required. Fair and squat. Is he chasing after me or something? Oh. The taking stood before me. It was impossible to focus on it, as if it stood in a blind spot caused by a brain tumor and eye disease. It was bleeding shadows like ink underwater, like a cloud of blood from a shark bite. I was terrified. I squeezed the flashlight like my life depended on it, willing it to stop coming any closer. Suddenly something gave, and the light seemed to shine brighter. Oh no, the game mechanics! A thermos! Oh man. We're gaming. Let's go. Did he? Okay. Oh, he's parkour. He's parkour. Run. I can't handle parkour. Is that a reference? Any second now, and stuck <laughs> knocking on the door with his axe like Nicholson in The Shining. Uh, <laughs> I, I called it. <laughs> is that a reference? It is. <laughs> During your. <laughs> I, can't, I don't remember that. It's a lady. Yes. Hello? Hello? Dude just knock up over a power pole. Just like a final destination. Oh, that's not good. That was like a final destination. There's a lot of instances of final destination happening. That's awkward. Time to look for secrets. I ain't afraid of no ghost. I got a gun. The bulldozer had gone over the cliff with the office. I hoped Stucky had suffered the same fate. Damn! What, why do you hate on Stucky? What is Stucky to you? Stucky did nothing wrong. Hashtag Stucky did nothing wrong. Outside a shooting range, and now I just killed someone or something. There were no bodies. <laughs> Justice for Stucky. <laughs> I was dreaming. It felt real enough to make me sick. 
Like, okay, so uh, the only hand painted graffiti was revealed by my flashlight. Someone had hidden a chest of supplies. I didn't even know this was here. Flare gun, OP. We win. God, I remember this motion that he used to do. Look at this. Like, this is something you can imitate, like, as a kid. I feel like it was something I used to do as, like, a joke to myself. I don't know why I'm hanging on that for so long. I think it's something I used to do. I was a weird kid. Alright, let's go. Um, I don't think I can climb over that. Oh, power thing. Yeah, let's, uh, let's touch the power thing. I think that's fine. <laughs> that's how that works. Okay. Good, good job, Wake. I wanted to go, but I had no choice. I had to get to the gas station. It's rabbit season, but... Can you imagine if you're a murderer, you pop out of nowhere and just yell, It's rabbit season! Respectful. Uh, the game wants me to go this way, I'm gonna go this way. No, tuck season. <laughs> oh, damn, that would have been a better line, wouldn't it? Ah, oh, a page. What's gonna happen next? Oh, this is like a skip ahead. Rose knew she had been gushing, but right now, she didn't care. As far as she was concerned, her brief meeting with Alan Wake was literally the high point of her life. She watched as he got in the car with his wife. She was pretty, confident, at ease with Wake. Not like Rose. They were perfect for each other. She had given anything to be called their friend. So she murdered her. <laughs> murdered his wife. <laughs> it makes sense. God, that actually would be a fun little plot hook. It was the obsessed fan who was the murderer the whole time. Like, it would have been an obvious one, but even if she just shows up for one scene, shows how obsessive she is, that could be enough clues to indicate that she's the murderer. Right? Am I thinking too hard on that? Maybe that would be too obvious. Maybe that'd be just one of those, yeah, she could be the murderer kind of things, you know? I just saw a grandma I, I like underwater what was that? you know maybe I'm just fantasizing about an old woman in like a black funeral gown maybe this is just his like interest I saw the river below something uncoiled itself inside my head I realized that I'd have to find a way across I didn't even want to look at the water Look. 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 Look at it, Wake. Look at it! This is what happened to your wife! There's actually a lot of secrets in this area. I remember this. I remember that. Like, there's one over here, I think. Um. Like, really out of the way. Yep, there it is. Look. Ah, oh, my memory. Still on point. From back from what, like 2008, 2014? What was it, 2016? God, I forgot when I played this last. It, it was, uh. It was definitely like a year after it came out. But then, yeah, see, it wants you to go over there, but you go over here and there's more stuff. I hear someone still out there in the dark stalking me. Oh, did I go the wrong way? Oh no. Shoot. It might have been over there. Ah, uh, bugger. Oh, thank god, everyone's just leaving batteries and ammo everywhere. What would I ever do if I ran out of batteries and ammo? Yeah, I think it may have been over there. There was like a manuscript somewhere here.
I don't remember. It could be over there, but... Oh, wait, I have a jump button. Wait, I have a jump button. I forgot about that. Hold up. It's not over yet. We're still gaming. I can jump. But everyone's yelling at me, You have a jump button! And I'm like, no, 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 we don't have a jump button. This is a horror game. They wouldn't implement a jump button of all things. There we go, manuscript. Barry Wheeler was bouncing off the walls. He jumped on a plane. Oh, thank God my boyfriend's coming. By both Al and Alice for several days. It could mean that they were both on a second honeymoon. But Barry didn't buy it. Al had been way too unstable for that. Not sleeping. Messed up. Barry had years of experience dealing with Alan Wake. And he couldn't ignore it. Something was wrong. Can we talk about how Alan Alan Wake himself was writing about himself? This guy is full of himself. Like, literally. This guy wrote a book about himself. He wrote about his vacation and, or second honeymoon, you know? Exactly. Narrator for the narrator. The narrator was the main character all along. That's the plot twist. He was in control the whole time. Checkpoint reached. I knew it. It meant cut. Did someone just throw a bloody axe at me? Dude, stop. Stop it. That is illegal. <clears throat> I thought that was something explosive I could shoot. I was actually debating on shooting it, but it just turns out it was just a red can. In a video game, if you put a red can on the ground, people are going to shoot it thinking it can blow up, okay? But no, it's just a red can. That's disappointing. Don't do that to your players. Caution, proceed at your own risk, logging area ahead. I'm sure it's fine. Ah, secret! The arrows point the way! Go up! Yeah, I think I might upload this chapter by chapter. Just for funsies. Taken. They're taken. Yes, they are. They're taken. Another loot box. Am I going to find all the secrets? I probably missed one already, in all honesty. Hey, I know I think I'm gonna shoot just that guy for just disease. <laughs> now, now I'm like, now I'm paranoid. I want to find everything, but I know I probably shouldn't bother. Because right now I'm just kind of playing it for the story's sake, just to refresh myself for the second game. That's, the, like, 90% of the reason we're playing this right now, is just to get ready for the second game. But apparently the second game's, like, amazing, like, a hundred times better than this one. The staircase was broken. I had to make my way up some other way. Oh, I, I know what to do in this situation. I played Lego Star Wars. You could just use the Force to build Lego blocks into the staircase. But I don't have the Force, so we can't do that. Thank God these emergency stations have revolver ammo. Item limit reach for a revolver ammo? I would be putting in that in my hoodie hood. Okay? If I had limited pocket space, I'd be sticking that revolver hammer somewhere I could keep it. The hoodie hood would hold plenty of bullets. Can you imagine some guy you're in a firefight with him and he just pulls ammo out of his hoodie hood? Okay? The man pulls ammo out of his hoodie hood and you're just like, well, I, I can't beat that. Touch. There was no power. 
There was bound to be a generator somewhere at the logging site. Oh, thermos. Can you believe that there's a hundred of these in the game? My friend uh, played the stream this game recently, and it like really crashed on him when he played it. Forestry equipment around. There had to be something I could use to reach the top. Oh. Nah. Nah, I'm not dealing with you. I chose not to deal with you. Remember that. <laughs> Remember, I chose not to deal with you. Oh, hell yeah, shoddy. I heard them before I saw them, swooping down from the sky and screeching as they came. I spun around just as the cloud was upon me. For an instant, I stared into a hundred dead eyes, black pearls glittering in the darkness. I raised the flashlight and the swarm exploded. God, I, like I wonder if I write like this. Burned, turned into ash. I couldn't hear my scream above theirs. Uh, I I wonder if I would write a story I would write like this. You know, I should like aim to write like Alan Wake. Scratch. Pa, pa, pa. All right, let's play a mini game. Come on. With all this forestry equipment around, there had to be something I could use to reach the top. Oh man, I can't wait to play a puzzle. Look at that, he keep, look, uh, look at all the stuff he can keep in his hoodie. This jacket's amazing, he can fold, hold a, a 12 gauge shotgun in his hoodie. What can your ho hoodie hold? Not a 12 gauge shotgun, I bet you. Fucking writing, he's writing the existence of an infinite pouch, but only allows himself to hold so much. He is limiting himself. He is he is a true gamer. I would kill for a hoodie like this. Olive green? Hell yeah. I'd do it olive green. We don't even talk about brownies right now. God, I don't want something like that. I need something sweet. Had a. I've had a hard day, so much drama going on at work, and I'm just, I'm just not having it. That was an easy puzzle. What's this? <gasps> I can. No one has fun on my watch. Oh, thank goodness, a save point. There's a place to save and rest. Oh, shotgun shells. Do not touch the rate. Wait, is it a story or music? Well, I was just outside. Okay, it's story. I was worried. I know most of you are probably in your beds by now, but if you're still up and around, take a moment. Step outside for a spell and breathe in deep. Mm, the weather is absolutely still. The sky is crystal clear. It's like the forest is quietly breathing along with you. You've listened to no one. You can add too much cheese to an omelet. Like this, I wish I wasn't cooped up in the studio. I didn't know that. I'm actually allergic to eggs, so I didn't know that. But here I am, and it would keep you company all night long if I weren't. Uh, it looks like uh, I'm not the only one staying up late. Caller, you're on the air. Hey, Pat, it's Maurice Horton. Hello, Maurice. What are you up to? Well, I was just taking Toby on his walk. Oh, isn't it beautiful out there? Sure, but Pat, the reason I called is that Toby heard something rustling in the 
Dr. Brooke took off after it, and I couldn't find it. Probably a rabbit. Sure. <laughs> Toby loves rabbits. Well, sure. Anyway, I figured that, you know, if anyone runs into Toby, they could grab him. My number's on his collar. And Toby's a friendly dog? Maurice, it's out there now. Hope Toby comes home soon. If I find Maurice somewhere and it's not a good situation, I'm gonna be disappointed in this game. I will leave a scathing review. Oh, it was just too much cheese. I thought the like the omelet goes bad with too much cheese for a minute there. Okay. I think there's music playing, so we're gonna run from this area. At first, I kept finding the pages as if by accident. The book I couldn't remember was either a terrible and true prophecy, or an act of creation that had rewritten the world. I began to hunt the pages feverishly, for they held the answer to the mystery. With it, I could save myself. With it, I could save Alice. I don't think you can save Alice, bruh. I, I think she's far from saving. Bruh. The gas station was closer now, its light welcoming in the darkness. I don't know what's going on right now. Am I under- Oh, I'm under attack. Ow, I think I hit. Ow. Ow. Stop it! I, I said stop it! Sir, stop it! I actually died. I should be disappointed in myself. I'm just impressed. They actually killed you pretty, uh, pretty fast for a normal difficulty. Surprised. Well, that's fine. It's fine that we died. Just shows I can't, I can't just be playing around all the time. Well, it, it is a game actually, so. Departure by Alan. At first, I kept finding the pages. Making sure we read it so that it's marked. If it is even marked. The gas station was closer now. It's light welcoming in the darkness. Paul makes the best dogs in the state. Barry Furster is the best with no coats. Monster dog. It's Monster dog. I tried to act cool there, but nah, it didn't work out. So there's a limit to amount of... Oh, there's people after me. Dude, they do not want me to look for secrets. Secrets, don't mind me. Hey, stop it, stop it. 
Okay, stop it. Back up. This is your warning. Back up. Self-defense. Self-defense. I stepped into the gas station's garage. It was dark and quiet. The place was a mess. It looked like someone trashed the place or that there'd been some kind of fight. Light spilled into the room through an open door at the back, and I made my way toward it. Without any warning, I was blinded by a bright light. An old portable TV on the shelf had come alive by itself. Impossibly, I could see myself on the screen, talking like a madman. So, one thing that this game is getting right about storytelling is its paragraphs. Every paragraph should be... How do I put this? A sequence or just the idea of what is to be said in or the focus of a certain topic like for instance he's explaining hey this is oh there's more do they just keep responding <gasps> thermos that's what i was looking for ah! well, i want my thermos damn it leave me alone leave me alone Anyways, a lot of people when they're writing, they kind of forget to do that. Like they'll jump between topics too much. I need to run. I'm kind of wasting all my stuff for this area. And safe area. Nice. Alright. Cool. Let's keep moving. I do kind of like the light puzzles. The light puzzles are nice. Hey, or someone. Someone's after me. Do 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 do. Proceed with caution. You do 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 do. Game warning me about game. I'm just over here just looking everywhere for secrets. I doubt I'll find it all, but... Oh, they ambushed me! Can you imagine using a revolver in a horror scenario? You're gonna have to get like so good at reloading the revolver. Like, she asked. The sheriff looked at me suspiciously. The early morning light flooded through the office windows. I would probably never have gotten out of the woods alive without her help. But I couldn't tell her the truth of what I'd faced the previous night. She'd think I was lying or crazy. She'd lock me up, and she wouldn't help me find Alice. Kind of like, uh, okay, so this is going to be a weird example. Kind of like how in, uh, Into the Radius that I'm playing right now, when I'm using the, the Mosin, you know, it's bolt action, and, but it works a specific way when you, uh, let's just say you pull the lever action back. It, uh, it pops out the bullet, no matter what, no matter what, even if it's shot or anything, it pops out the bullet. Both bolt actions will do that, right? And you have to practice loading the gun after you shoot and stuff like that. It's it's a little different. Science. It bestows immortality on those who advance. And I think it'd be like loading with a uh, revolver because I had to learn how to load with the uh, 
Bolt action. But of course, that's a VR game. It's not like real life, so it's different. Dude, my favorite show. Oh, my favorite episode. I, we had to save for this one. Okay, I'm bored. <laughs> Just a media board. Okay, I'm bored. Why did I turn it off? Ah, the Duito! I need the Duito. <gasps> it's time for spooky part! There's like a whole box of, of revolver ammo here. <gasps> it's you. like a different kind of mechanic for a game. Where'd he go? Oh shoot, there he is. He's zooming! He's fast! Can't really get him to stop. I'm reloading, one sec. You know what? I'm tired of you. Damn, there he goes. Stucky's body vanished, leaving behind only a lifetime of nightmares to- Oh, which one? Assuming I'd reached the lights of the gas station alive. Which one's uh, speaking your fancy today? Because... Oh, that's right. I have the... Either Breath of the Wild or... Ooh, Twilight Princess. I would go for a Twilight Princess. Actually, I'm into. I, I, okay, this is gonna be weird. I want to play Skyward Sword again. I want to play Skyward Sword. Yeah, that's one of my top favorite ones. Skyward Sword was underrated because no one really knew how to set up the motion controls for the Wii U. And they just sucked at it. <laughs> when I played it, it worked fine and I had a lot of fun. It was a blast to go through. Twilight Princess is also another top favorite. But, uh... I have okay, so I have you and I play Minecraft in it. Oh, okay. Respectable. I haven't played Minecraft since the Sword and Shield update, really. But uh, I have um the streams I did of the uh, Wind Waker randomizer I did. I need to upload those still, or figure out what I'm gonna do with them, really, because there's a lot of just nothing happening. Because I'm always looking around for stuff. And I want to do another randomizer. I want to do uh, Ocarina of Time next. If I do do a randomizer, it's going to be Ocarina of Time. 
Oh, the, but I had such a blast doing the randomizer. Like, there, there was... <laughs> Let me grow. Oh, you have a cork plushie? I have a Charmander plushie. That's the, that's the plushie we have. Actually, I have a lot of plushies, but... The main one that we uh, take care of is the Charmander. But yeah, I wanna I wanna do a Legend of Zelda I recognize the uh, Walk Around the Time bright randomizer. I first arrived with and then I wanna do a uh, Majora's Mask randomizer. Cause oh boy, I I long for the day to do those. Because there, nothing, like, there was so many good highs playing Breath of, uh, not Breath of the Wild, um, Wind Waker Randomizer. There was so many, like, After great Sandy, moments. I when I found something that was key, the just because I knew the mechanics of the game, it was so moment, good. The same world reasserted itself. <gasps> Page. Stucky spat on the garage floor and tried to shake the cobwebs from his head. Ever since the couple never showed to pick up the keys, things had been fuzzy. Something, a feeling caught his attention. Stucky looked up and stared as his brain tried in vain to process the It wasn't until like the end of the first stream that I found. A black pool spread across the floor while he struggled for a brief moment, then let go as the unrelenting darkness engulfed him. At the end of the first stream is when I found my first, like, possible weapon, which was the Skull Hammer. And I screamed when I found it. It was like an eight-hour stream, and I find the Skull Hammer after that. Ugh. The fest had been two weeks away when we arrived. If the day count on the banner was right, I was missing a whole week between the night we got here and now. Thermos, 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 thermos. I had to get inside the gas station to find a phone to call. I would love the equipment to stream my uh, Switch. If I could stream my Switch, I would play a lot more games on it. The garage was a mess. It looked like someone had trashed the place, or that there'd been some kind of fight. Outside, there's only darkness. Outside the cabin, outside the story, there's only darkness. I can feel the presence in the. I mean, you just need a like. There's like a device that you just need. I'll reach her. I'll fix her. I'll bring her. You can hook it up to your computer. If I stop, she's lost. It's actually decently cheap, at least where I'm at. It'd been me on the TV. Like for what it does, it's I think it's like fifty bucks or something. I'm not even like focused on this game. Like I know this game from back to back. Alan Wake is talking crazy. <gasps> Ooh, I want one. Uh, yummies. I want a yummy. <laughs> yummy, yummy for my dummy. Yummy, yummy for my dummy. Rainfall Sheriff Station. Thank God, Sheriff. Sheriff Sarah Breaker, you are... I'm Alan Wake, but listen, I was in a car crash. My wife, Alice, she's missing. Calm down, Mr. Wake. We were staying in a cabin on the island, on Cauldron Lake. There's no island on Cauldron Lake, not since the big eruption in the 70s. Please, I can take you there, okay? You look like you've taken a pretty bad knock to the head. Are you okay? Listen. We'll figure this out. Please get in the car. We'll swing by the lake, and then we'll go to the station. Okay? Mr. Wake, have you seen Stucky, the guy who owns this place? I realized I couldn't tell her what had happened in the forest. She wouldn't have believed me. And then she wouldn't have helped me with Alice. Yeah, no, that's awful. My, my family is trying to be supportive, but it's definitely a thing.
That's actually really like for an officer to take Alan to the to the lake to see it is actually like going above and beyond. To be like, yeah, there's there's no island. Yep, copyrighted. Damn it. <laughs> immediate, immediate copyright. Just a sprinkle of stars and Oh, that was episode one. Nice. Everything is alright. That was actually a pretty fun first level. 